Hi, welcome to this video. We're talking about Arch Merge 6.2. Control Alt T shows what we're on. And yes, we have variety giving us wallpapers. So every now and then again, we get new wallpapers. And here are the preferences. If you don't want to start variety and you want to use your own wallpapers, that's fine. But we recommend you try it because we get lots of comments in there and say, Eric, where do you get these wallpapers from? I do nothing. I just have variety and it gives me random wallpapers from desktopper.co. That's it. I just say I want them or I don't want them. That's all you have to do. You say view a desktopper or you copy to favorites. You can do it all the way and follow my tutorials online. And then you have an account on desktopper, link it to your Dropbox account. When you click on the website on this little cloud icon, you have it on your Dropbox. It's that easy. So that's variety working ahead and um, will change a wallpaper during the tutorial or the video. So Arch Merge 6.2. All right, let's go over and over the most essential things. And the one, the first thing I would like to point out is that Arch Merge Hello is there for you. We have four websites. We pay for them. Please use them. If you have questions, don't go to Facebook Messenger, YouTube and all that. We have a forum because when you post something on a forum, the next guy will read the response and say, ah, that's how to fix it. And I will be helping not one, but 20 people. So please use what um, resources we pay for. Eh? Forum, archmerge.com.com is for our ISO. And this, this is for the Arch Merged ISO, the minimal, the full one, the minimal one. You read the text. But this page is the page you really need to read because it will save you lots of time and lots of frustration maybe as well. So some things are the way they are, and that's not due to Arch Merch, that's due to the way things are in life. So just read and see that we can fix the icons and so on. We can do that one, for instance, uh, as an example. If you have here, and you see Eric, um, you have nice icons and all that, but some of them are not okay. Why is that? That's because of our software engineers who are hard code linking this thing. What you need to do is Ctrl Alt T, sudo hard code, and every time you get a new update in, every time it gets overwritten, every time you need to rerun these. I think about four or five, five um, applications that are fixed. So these elements, the HP, some it was something to do with HP. Well, that one is fixed. So you see, that's how and why you should go to this uh, website and uh, read about it and see, ah, oh, yeah, it's uh, just a little fix and I'll know it. So we have now a tutorial about what's the difference between the two of them. This is just an overview and you just go ahead and read. That's the first thing that will save you time and energy. The fix of the icons, we have done that. <coughs> the plank is at this point in time to the left. There's a reason for that. We have three desktop environments. This one is the bottom, open box is in the top. So if you put this one on the top, it's in the way for open box and i3 doesn't need it. So if you're going to stay in XFCE, go with right mouse click on plank and then um, with control pressed, so control, right mouse click, then you get this preferences thing. And then you can say, let's move it to the top. And we have about 70 choices, all teams. Normally you get three, four or five. I don't know, not much, but depending on the wallpaper you're on and the size you want to have it, if it's jumpy or not, it's all possible and set it the way you want it. Okay, so that's there. Um, what else? Variety, we've discussed that. XFCE settings manager is quite important. Control Alt M, that's the settings manager. Anything you need is here. Sometimes it's hidden very far away, but it's in here. Um, this is uh, an overview of everything that you can set. Okay. What else? The conkeys. We can activate the conkeys here, conkeys M. But 
6.2.1, I, I wanted a faster way to have my conkeys. And what did I do? Right mouse click, conkeys in, and now we have conkeys in like so. And we can click here, and it's alphabetically. If you remember the name, then start with an A, there you go. And now we have this conkey. But in this wallpaper, that's not good. So I'm going to move my wallpaper. Whoa, beautiful wallpaper. So what I do is I say copy to favorites. That's it. It's now in my favorites folder. If you really want to keep it, then you have to view a desktop or have a desktop account and Dropbox and so on. Okay. Conkey has been set. Then we'll go over to Spotify, I think. Um, well, all the things are just applications. Try the applications and find out what it does. Uh, maybe one last thing is uh, Control Alt U or the volume control. What I need always for my Bluetooth headset. So if you want to have some music on your system, it's a nice shortcut. And talking about shortcuts, Check them out in the keyboard. Lots of shortcuts. We do love shortcuts. They're all in here. Check out other tutorials as well, where I'll teach about these tutorials. You see me pressing buttons, variety N, meaning pressing Alt, and then arrow to the right, arrow to the left. So that's easy how to, easy to change your wallpaper. Next up. Let's go out of here. I do not think we have anything to say rather than maybe this. If you don't like my preferences, go for Vivaldi and go for another. And they have to install another mail reader. Utilities, Tunar, Nautilus, Nemo, install it, use it. Termite has been set, but you can use other terminals as well. So the rest is actually just figuring out, figuring out what you can do in all these applications. Going to open box this time. Log out, yeah. Then you have to remember you to go up here, decide what to do. This one is not necessary, just these three. Let's go to open box first. Did I click it? Yeah. All right. So this is open box for you. The plank is now up here, but also my toolbar. Let's change the wallpaper again with Alt to the right. Don't like them. Alt T, I trash this one, I trash this one, Alt T. Let's put on with Super Shift D. We have this D menu and I have a little program that's installed and you can use it as well in your tutorials if you make one. Then you have this Control Alt, for instance, this one. Alt arrow to the right, and that's how you see it. So you know now what I'm pressing if I'm doing Control Alt T. That's that. Um, the plank is now in the wrong place. So Control right mouse click, and then preferences will put it back to the left, for instance, because lots of the things of the conkeys are to the right. So that's why the plank is on the left side. If you want to have um, icons, we have this menu with right mouse click. And these are all set in our system. And these are all set manually. But this one is automatic. So if you install something, it will be in here somewhere. The only, it's going to use the user share application file, the desktop file there, to decide where to put it put it in network or multimedia. So you have to go look in these categories and you'll find it somewhere. What if you want to have icons? Some of you really love the icons. So generate a pipe menu with icons and you like this menu better. So because of the Sardi and the servant icons being from me, every icon, every menu will have, every application will have something, will have an icon. If you decide to change your um, your icons to differ from your icons and go to, I don't know, uh, Papyrus Adapter, which is also quite nice, right mouse click, 
then go to OB menu generator, refresh icon set, other icons. Then you'll see that some of the icons will not work. So um, this is not my icon team, so I cannot change it. It's the way it is. What else? I can only, again, tell you that we love our keybinds. So keybinds is another word for the keyboard shortcut. And in here somewhere as well, you'll find the variety shortcuts. But there is the OB logout, killer window, very useful from time to time. So Windows Escape, so Windows Escape, you have this nice little look. And then you click somewhere and what happens, do you think? Killed. So it's, it, it is really interesting to dive into the system and really take a look at every element. And this again is the page you need to read. So in every system, well, not every, not i3, but here you have this link to the page that the, uh, you need to read. You need to follow along what changes we make to the system. Okay. Yeah, true. The Conkey Chooser, if you want Conkeys, it's here. Conkey Chooser. So Conkey Zen, Conkey Chooser. It's just a name. It's the same thing. If you want to have a nice logo, there you have a logo, but we have a wallpaper in the middle with a logo. Two logos is not good. So let's delete some stuff here. Don't like this one. That's a nice one. To have the logo. And there you go. Getting out of here again with exit open box, choose what to do, in this case log out, because the third system is ready to have a look at. So that's this one, i3, and i3 has not changed um, very much. We changed a little script, some, some line, just for the dual screen guys. Um, depending where you want to have your uh, your system tools so that's something we've uh, changed as well okay so super x go back log out log back in in whatever you want and then you have your system back I think that concludes everything for uh, a first time user. That's the idea to get an overview of what small things you can change to make it more appealing. Um, it will have, you will have to, to read more of, um, listen to more tutorials to get more details, but it's all there on the websites. Enjoy.